Hi everybody, my name is Stocky Jabberwocky, and welcome to my guide on the demo mode in Rust. Before we get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have either owner or admin privileges on the server that you're going to record from. If this might be a problem, you can actually do this for free from the Intoxicated Sandbox Creative Server, which I'll record this entire video from as a demonstration. To begin recording your demo, use the command record file name, such as record video 01. You can then act out your scene, do what you gotta do, and then use the command stop to stop recording. If you're recording from the Intoxicated Sandbox server, make sure that you turn off build mode when acting out your scene, or else the server's user interface will be present in your demo playback. Once you're ready to play back your demo, make sure you're not connected to a server and then use the command play file name, such as play video 01. It'll take a minute to load everything and then it'll drop you right into your demo. Most of your recording is going to be from the debug camera, so I highly recommend binding it to make life a little easier. Most people use P with the command bind P debug camera. On the surface, the debug camera isn't too complicated. You can use WASD to move, Q and E to ascend and descend, shift to go fast, and space to go slow. The arrow keys are for orientation, and you can zoom with plus and minus, or by dragging, right click on the mouse. These are just the basic operating controls, and we'll get more into the camera settings and commands in a little bit. As I'm sure you've noticed, there isn't a user interface, which makes using the demo mode a little tricky. So to make everything easier, I recommend setting up a custom playback system on your keyboard instead of typing out commands for everything. Normally, you'd have to use the command demo.skip to skip forward or back. So using demo.skip1 will go forward a little and negative one will go back a little. The command demo.timescale changes the playback speed, so demo.timescale 1 is normal playback, 0.5 is half speed, and 0 is fully stopped. With these commands, we can set up some custom keybinds. I personally use the keys 7, 8, 9, and 0 for my playback system, but you can of course use whatever makes sense to you. But with these binds, we can use 7 to skip back, 8 to pause, 9 to play, and zero to skip forward, which is an absolutely huge quality of life improvement. Up next, we can quickly run through some of the key camera settings and what they do. Probably the most important is client.camspeed. Setting it to 0.01 is super slow, one is standard, and 100 is beyond fast. A similar setting is speed, which affects the sensitivity of your mouse, and is essentially the rate of your camera's pan and tilt. Client.camlerp is a very popular setting among the cinematic community. I can best describe it as a sort of smoothing effect, but the results are very dramatic and exaggerated when setting it to low settings. Client.camzoomlerp is a great setting to play around with if you plan on using the zoom feature. Smoothing out the zoom can give it a much more natural feel. And you can also adjust the zoom rate with client.camzoom speed. Those are all of the camera settings that I like to play around with, but you can really kick things up a notch and get pretty creative when you start binding them to keys. So as an example, if you want an in-game action to affect your camera settings without having to do a cut, you can do something like this. But when you're binding multiple parameters to one key, make sure that there are no spaces after the semicolons, or else it's only going to accept the first input. Another feature that lets you get really creative is camera positions. And the commands for this are debug camera save and debug camera load. 
You can use these to get consistent camera positions and configurations, which is incredibly useful for when you're framing a shot or you want to save the perfect camera angle in case you might lose it. And of course, this feature gets much more powerful when you bind them to keys to make genuine camera positions within a scene. These are my binds, which allow me to save positions 1, 2, and 3 with the keys U, I, and O. I can then load them with the keys directly below, which are H, J, and K, so I can bounce from various preset positions and configurations. There is one major thing that I would be remiss not to mention, and that is once your demo ends, you cannot replay or rewind it. It's pretty much stuck in this permanent stop mode, and I have not been able to find any workarounds for this yet, other than simply disconnecting and restarting the demo. So I usually pad the end of my recordings with some spare footage and a cue, so that way I have time to skip back before it ends. That's pretty much all I have for this video. On the screen is all of my keybinds that I've mentioned, and I'm also going to create a table of contents for easy copy and pasting. This entire video was recorded from the Intoxicated Sandbox server, and I'll also leave a link to another one of my videos where I showcase the features that they have to offer. If you have some advice that you'd like to share, or have questions to ask, please do and I'll check them all out. And as always, thanks for watching.